Cops often misuse their authority to exert their superiority over innocent civilians. But what happens when these tyrant cops face off with higher authority? Here are three different cases when entitled cops get humbled by higher authority. I He's understand. raising his voice at me. Okay, I okay. understand. So now I can raise my so voice, right? So, no, you can eat a What's his problem? Okay. This is Sergeant Syrah Austin, and he's facing off against two cops from the Suisun City Police Department, Officer Cody Marler and Officer Tiffany Kanoma. On May 10th, 2020, the officers were responding to a call from North Bay Hospital about a child ingesting nail polish remover. But what they didn't know was that they were at the wrong address. You know who that is? No. Who's your, uh, your girlfriend or your baby mama? The right. lady we just saw. The, the lady we right can here. see. First of all, that's my wife, Marvel. Okay. Marla. Okay. And who? Kanama. Who so who's this? Hold on, so can you go with the mother? What, what's the problem? So we're here on a welfare check. We have to make okay. sure she's okay. Why? Because we received a call from North Bay for the incident that occurred earlier. Look, look right there. Supposed to be an investigator if you're investigating something. Nine years, U.S. Army. Now, what's the problem? What's your person? I don't have to identify myself to you, do I? Am I under investigation? You want to tell me what's going on? Don't knock on my window. Can you come out here? No, she can't come out there. Y'all need to tell me what's going on. This is my house. We told don't, you. Don't tell me. We're here for a welfare check. Not the right address. A welfare check for what? No, I, Hi, I, ma I, I got it, ma'am. Y'all violating my rights right now. No, Actually, we're, not. we're not. dude. Yes, you are, because no, you're not, not telling me what know okay. who that is. Okay. I just said it to L you. Listen to me, dude. We're not violating your rights. You are. How? Because which, you, you, which right? You, which, you, you, which civil right are we violating? Why are you raising your We're voice? not violating Why is he anything. Raising his voice? Okay. Why is he raising so his voice? So we are we are here on are you a welfare me? check. I can go inside my we house. We are here on a welfare check. Already, I don't know what Whoops. that means. Stop talking. Let me talk. I don't have Over to stop a child talking. That ingested, right. that ingested. Why is he I don't like. To, I don't like him. A person He's raising his voice at me right now. Or nail polish. Okay. Okay. So we're we here. We come here. Your baby's right on, there. Okay. I'm going to talk to you. First of all. Came to my house and said, "Is that my girlfriend okay. or my baby mama?" That's my wife. So okay. that's disrespectful starting okay. off. All right, sir. So that was disrespectful starting off, and, okay, and then he's raising his voice at me. Okay, I okay. understand. So now I can raise my so voice, right? So, no, you can. Eat What's his problem? Okay, okay. Nah, I need your badge numbers. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll I'm give sorry. you my badge number. But so the reason we're here is now you're telling me the reason after you told me to eat it, sir. So you tell me to eat it, right? Marler, I messed up. I apologize. Now that you on film, you messed up. No, so you, so you, you haven't violated any of my sir, rights. No, the sir. first thing you said to me coming here was, so, is sir. that my baby mama or my girlfriend? Sir, then he so started raising his voice at me. From North Bay. Pause. I need your name and your badge number. Officer Conma, 107. Thank you. I need your name and your badge Officer number. Officer Marler, 102. In an ideal scenario, the officers would have courteously introduced themselves and clarified the purpose of their visit to Sergeant Austin's residence. Upon realizing they were at the wrong address, they should have respectfully departed. However, Officer Marler's lack of professionalism was evident. Rather than providing a clear reason for his visit, he persistently questioned about a 14-year-old who had supposedly consumed nail polish remover. When he finally acknowledged his mistake, he did not offer a polite apology. Instead, he resorted to using offensive language towards Sergeant Austin. Close the blinds. Do you have a 14 year old son? Close the blinds. Hold on, sir, sir. Close the blinds. Sir, do you have a 14 year old son? Close the blinds. Close the blinds. I'm not going in the house. Are your Close children the blinds. Okay, ma'am? Are your children okay? Okay. okay. Do they okay. look okay, guy? He's asking if my children are okay. Who the okay. is that? Okay. What the uh, are y'all talking we're, we're, about? We're going to leave now. Give me one Why? Because I got to eat it. That's why you leaving we're, now? We're going to leave now. Upon peering through the window, the officers quickly discern that they have arrived at an incorrect location. Officer Tiffany Kimona attempts to rectify the misunderstanding, yet it seems like Officer Marler hasn't learned his lesson. Okay, so it may have been a miscommunication between North Bay and our dispatch. So we got a call that we need to... Okay, a three-year-old was brought into the hospital because she ingested nail polish remover. Okay. We don't know anything about okay. any of that. And that is absolutely fine. So this just I got know, a little out of hand. But you don't come to somebody's house and say, if that's your baby, I'm your girlfriend. You right, and I understand. I completely understand you're that. You're supposed to be professional. It was I'm trying my best to be professional. And, if, and, it, and it, you're, you're doing fine. But okay. that guy, I don't know what the f side of the bed he woke up on. Okay, I understand. But You so don't come to somebody's leaving. house and disrespect them like that. I, I completely understand. I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. That's why I, I had to Put yourself in my shoes. 
Two cops knock on your door, boom, boom, boom. I'm in there having a good time with my wife okay. of five years, they are who, I, who I have now okay. scared. Okay. You, you probably scared them. They don't know Officer Friendly yet. You're knocking on my window. Right. And okay. then you come here and, well, and tell me about your voice. investigation. I tell you that I have military experience. Guess how many investigations I have under my belt? I identify myself as a military person. Okay. Then y'all asking what my name is. I said my name is right there on there. Okay, but we need, so, like but I you, said, we you're got explaining what you're explaining to me now, but you didn't start off like that. The officers from the Sui Sun City Police Department departed shortly thereafter, but not before being humbled by an army veteran who demonstrated superior knowledge of the law. Officer Marler's time would have been better spent locating the individual in need of medical assistance rather than engaging in a dispute with the sergeant. In situations requiring medical intervention, such delays can potentially result in dire consequences. Due to his obvious negligence, Officer Marler was subsequently dismissed from the Sui Sun Police Department. But if you think Sergeant Austin was being harassed by these entitled cops without any solid reason, wait till you see what they do with a 14-year-old. Okay. They say somewhere up there. Okay. Give me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? Yep. I did. You're in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. What? What? Diggs, you want to go and verify that for me? Yeah. What? On January 14th, 2021 officers from the Fuki Verena Police Department approached Malcolm Ziegler, a 14-year-old who was in possession of a stolen dirt bike. But what the officers did not know was that Ziegler had legitimately bought the bike and even had a bill of sale. Okay. Say somewhere up there. Okay. Do me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? Yep. I did. You're in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. What? What? Diggs, you want to go and verify that for me? Yeah. What? Do me a favor, man. Just um, come to my car right over here, okay? What the? F Can I get the bill of sale and show you that I bought it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get all that taken care of, man. But what I what I need to do is just hang tight for me right here, okay? Oh my gosh, what did I do? Just hang tight for me right here, okay? So, so here, here's what's going on, okay? So that vehicle, that vehicle's been entered as stolen. What? Okay. Which one? The the dirt bike right over there, the Suzuki. Uh huh. So I know you've been trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. It's been reported stolen, it's been edited as stolen, so right now you are in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Well, can okay. I show you the bill of sale from where I bought it? Absolutely, you can definitely show me that. So right. I mean, I did not steal it, I okay. had to show you. I where, where's the bill it. of sale at? I, I think it's in my house somewhere. Okay, so here's what's gonna go ahead and happen. Just hang tight for me. Matter of fact, do me a favor, sir, go ahead and step right, right here. Oh my God. 57 feet for it, two males, 1095. So I have to go to the police station? Yeah, yeah, just, just hang tight, hang tight. Let me go do this real quick. I gotta search you, okay? Alright, that's fine. Get your phone right there. I'm just gonna go and set it right here, okay, sir? Alright. And then there's keys in this. Yes, sir. Hi. How old are you? Okay. You said 14? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking for you. Yeah. I'm taking for you. Yeah, let me get a little something in there. Alright. Alright, sir, do me a favor, separate your feet for me. Go and look at me real quick. Open your mouth up, sir. Tongue up and down. I appreciate it. And then I want you to do that one more time for me. Hey, you guys good? I mean, parents, yeah, they're in the house. Kick, you ring the doorbell and tell my dad to get that bill of sale somewhere in the house. Okay. Y'all not gonna, they not gonna we're, we're, no, we're about to take care of that, it. sir. Okay. All right. We're gonna take care of that. All right, dude, okay. Appreciate it. The officers arrest Ziegler without giving him any chance to prove his innocence or provide the bill of sale, despite him repeatedly saying that he has one. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Hey, um, Dad, I need that so, bill of sale. Reason all this is going down, um, that vehicle's been entered as stolen, International Crime Information yeah. Center. Do you have the bill of sale by any chance, sir? I, 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 don't, I don't know where it is. It's either in my room hey, or in the garage. You gotta tell me where it is, my I saw y'all sign it, but what did you um, do? What is look, the guy's name that sold you the bike? I think it's like Tony or something. Like, if you go on my phone, you can look at the Facebook profile. Okay, well, Tell me where the bill of sale is. Go to the counter and see if it's on there. What counter? 
inside the kitchen, the first one that has all where you put the mail at. If it's not in there, look in the garage, like over by, you know where the stuff with the air compressor is? Here, like once so um, right now, what we're going to need to see is we're going to we'll see we need to see the bill of sale. Um, right, right now, what I'm trying to get taken care of. Um, with you being in possession of that, I mean it's still it's still technically possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Uh -huh. um, but obviously, if there is a bill of sale, and if we're, what you're telling me is true, then we certainly are willing to work with you. And um, well. I mean, I'm guessing y'all gonna take this. Am I like take the bike? Am I gonna get my money that I fit on the bike? Well, back? that so right now, my man, one step at a time. What I need to do is I need to grab some information from you. So, okay. your um, spelling of your first name, sir. It's Malcolm. Is that correct? M A L. Okay. C O L M. C O L M. Gotcha. Yes. And uh, how do you spell your last name, sir? Z I G. Okay. L A R. At this juncture, the sheriff makes his appearance and questions the rationale behind the officer's decision to handcuff a 14-year-old. He further enlightens the officer that the evidence at hand is insufficient to warrant Malcolm's arrest. Got it. You're almost oh, there. Sorry, but, uh, I thought you, you wear like a 14. <laughs> yeah, Alright, just hang tight for me, man, alright? Hey, is he detained or is he... He's detained right now because he is... He did he's not... 14. He's 14? Yes. Okay. So I already explained to him he's detained right now. I told him that. So why is he detained? Because that's a stolen motor vehicle. Okay. So. I mean, Diggs verified the VIN number, right? Did you, is that before all that, that you verified before you? I, I detained him and then okay, we verified. Okay, that's why I asked if he was 1095 or detained. He's detained. Okay. So, obviously he's a juvenile, right? Yeah. You're not charging him with larceny of a. Nope. Okay, because I said that didn't happen. Yep. So, worst you have is what? Possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Which is, you gonna think you get secure custody and all that? Probably not. Or a petition. All right. You're 14, me personally, you ain't going nowhere. You're here with what, Dad? Mm hmm. Ain't no sense having him sit in the car tent with handcuffs on. Where, okay. You ain't, if he was 18 and you might be taken to jail for mm -hmm. possession of stolen property? Right. Different, but we ain't, you ain't gonna take him to jail, right? It's gonna be a petition. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and take him out. Um, question for you. Um, so, supposedly, I know they're working on getting the bill of sale right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't asked him plenty of questions, but he's been running his mouth. He said that he got it from some guy off in Lewington. Okay. okay. My whole thing is, I know legally he can still be charged. Yeah. Um, if he's got a bill of sale, me personally. Yeah. I have grown up racing dirt bikes, buying four wheelers. I got. Yep three folders at the house now yeah I've never once had one run until I was a cop yep most people don't even know how to tell if one's stolen or not besides yep. you get a bill of sale and you think it's not stolen because you got a bill of sale and that then matches and exactly you're on your way. yeah um dig the cop this guy for that's what he buys he buys he buys bikes that has problems fixes them sells them flips them that's yep. what he does me personally I would pass all the information on to Harnett County. Yeah. Um, if he's got a bill of sale, I mean, you want to go with a petition, huh? If, if basically what you're saying is, if he has a bill of sale, you wouldn't end up filing the petition. No, but I'd have him, you know, talk to Lake County and try yeah, to yeah, of course. He's got a problem or not. Hey, where all do you think that bill of sale would be? So you can step out. We're gonna take the handcuffs off. Yeah. Where all do you think that bill cell might be at? I mean, it's, it's either got to be in the county, possibly in the I mean, I have so many, it's kind of... Yeah, I know. Your dad came out with quite a few. So do me a favor. Go and separate your feet for me a little bit. Separate your feet as well, too. Lean forward so I can get the get to the key, okay? Yeah. Separate your hands as well, too. You said what? Just separate your hands. There you go. I'm just saying drop off forward and get your head on. All right, go and take that hand out for me, sir. This one. That one right there. You got it. Malcolm Ziegler was then allowed to go back into his house, where he was successful in locating the bill of sale. The officers then left the scene without filing any charges. But the story doesn't end here. Mr. Ziegler's parents held a press conference stating that the police should undergo training and reforms, and that this incident was racially motivated. But there's one thing for sure. If the sheriff hadn't stepped in to make up for the mistake of the rookie police officer, things would have turned out to be much worse for the Fuki Varina Police Department. If you think you've seen the worst of entitled cops, wait till you see the next cop from Buchanan County who's about to get humbled by his own captain. Okay. okay. Just go in and do 
Well, there we go. There, at least the captain knows, Sergeant. Okay. You might have to take some lessons up. Go home, maybe just check out the Bill of Rights because you don't thank, know it. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problem. And thank me for my service, too, because your service is not good. This is Sergeant Chris Chesmore of the Buchanan County Courthouse. On the 8th of March, 2023, a renowned First Amendment auditor paid a visit to the Buchanan County Courthouse. A public building open to all citizens and was just exploring different places when he was stopped by Sergeant Chris Chesmore. Here is how their encounter went down. Check up upstairs. Weren't you just up there? Huh? Weren't you just up there? Uh, no, I think I came from downstairs. Do you have an ID in here, sir? Uh, yeah, I do. Can I see that, please? Oh, sh certainly. Actually, if I can freaking find it, maybe. Where are you from? No, I was thinking about moving here. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're real ID. Yeah, this is. No. I'm Billy Buttcrack. You're real ID. Oh, you need the real one? Yep. Ah, son of a gun. Here you go. I got some ID right here. The D. Hey, What's that? I got the ID. Here you go. Driver's license. Oh. Here you go. I'm gonna need to see your ID, sir. Sir. Time to go. Let's go. You need to leave. Excuse me? Let's Don't go. touch me. Don't touch you? you need yeah, to you just did. You just bumped me. You need Why to leave. for what? What did I do wrong? You were told to leave by me. For what? What crime? Let's go. What crime did I do? I'm here to get papers. Let me see it. Uh, no, you could Didn't look you right here. Excuse me? Didn't you already get your papers? I think you need to slow your roll right now. Slow my roll? Yeah. You know you work for Come me? On down here. Come on down here. For what? Come on. I committed no crime. Come on. I'm here to look at papers, get papers, see what services you provide. Well, you could tell all day, but I followed the law. Come on. I followed the law. I'm going to continue getting my paperwork. You heard the deputy. Come on. What did I do wrong? You guys can't. This ain't Russia. You can't just make up rules yourself. I did nothing wrong. He's on a power trip. I did nothing wrong. I'm here to get papers. What was your name and badge? Buchanan well, I County. Give my name and badge, and you have to give me your name. And because badge. you're a public servant, did you matter. forget? It doesn't matter. It does. Did you forget? You work for me. No. You work for the people. Do you live in Buchanan County? It's none of your business. Yeah, that's what I thought. Why are you being this way? Why are you, tyrant? What's so funny, little boy? Why can't you just respect our rights? What's the First Amendment? Do you know? Didn't think so. It's a shame that you guys swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, yet you don't even know the First Amendment. You like the Broncos? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I like freedom is what I like. Apparently you guys don't. You're still free, aren't you? Uh, not by you. You want to be a little tyrant. Hey, get out Get out of the public building. I haven't. Hey, hey he went up. Yeah, because you're not going to. And if you do, guess what? We'll have oh. fun in court. I like the camera. We'll have fun in court. court. Times. Guess what? Have you violated someone's rights? Of course you have. But guess what? You ain't going to violate mine without repercussions. I like your camera. I'm I like your facial hair. Thanks. It looks actually kind of good. Kind of good. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah. You should probably grow some too. Mm -hmm. Not enough testosterone. Too much. Oh. Okay. Hey, how about I have a task for you? Nope. The Bill of Rights. Go read the First Amendment because you don't know what it is, pal. What do you mean? What do you mean? What am I doing That's right now? That's a question you didn't answer. Yeah, because you're a public servant. Guess what? you don't even know the Fourth Amendment. That's how sad you are. Go read it. Freedom of the press is what I'm doing, right? Are you with press? Oh, yeah, I am. Do you have a press pass? Are you really that low IQ? Let's this see. is America. The press passes in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. Oh, huh, you didn't know that, huh? No, you're educating me. I, that's bad. No, if I know your job way more than I you. Imagine, imagine swearing an oath to the Constitution like yet you don't know. You. 
Can you educate me? Yes. Uh, what's the First Amendment? What no. five protections are no. in the First Amendment? You're not answering my question. I don't have to. I don't have to. You work for me. Don't forget that. Okay. And maybe when you want to try violating someone's rights, you might want to read the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. You keep talking about these amendments, but you haven't told. You're not educating. Yeah. Me. Are you really that clueless that I have to do your job for you? So. You swore an oath to the Constitution, yet you can't even recite the First Amendment. That's pathetic, and you got stripes. Okay. That's bad. Sergeant Chesmore appears to be entirely unaware of the auditor's rights. There is no obligation for the auditor to disclose his identity, nor is there any requirement for him to vacate the building premises. The officer's statement, you're being told to leave by me, is unquestionably not a legitimate law. That oath that you swore actually means something. You know how many men fought and died for these freedoms that we have? And you're over here trying to give me a hard time for what? Why are you giving me a hard time? Because you work for me. I did nothing wrong to you. What have I done to you? What have I done to you? You're not giving us your name. I don't have to. What's the Fourth Amendment, buddy? Is this a, your first day on the job? I mean, come on. You got to be better than this. It's, I mean, Captain, is this what you, do you accept this behavior? What do you need? Well, I'm going to go, I'm, I've just got here. I'm going to each one of these buildings asking what services they provide. I'm getting certain things like I just got a passport info because I'm going to fill it out and get a passport. And I'm here checking out the building. Then I get harassed by this deputy. It's disgusting, his behavior. Well, check out the building. Exactly. Why couldn't we do that in the first oh, place? Yeah. So you have no problem? No. Exactly. Do you have a problem now? The captain says it's fine. It, it, yeah, and building. he says it's fine because maybe, you know, he appreciates the Constitution. He at least, at minimum, he understands just it. Just don't interrupt or go back into any place that you're not. Exactly, and I don't. Exactly, and I don't. That's all I ask. Uh, yeah, that's fine with me. You know, certain parts of the building are not limited. Yeah, it'll say know. restricted or certain well, signs. Just, you know, anything that's open to the public, if you want to go in. And exactly. Go ahead and do it. That, okay. That would be my recommendation. Don't stand around and argue with others on it. Just go ahead and do it. I mean, uh, it, well, it okay. shouldn't be them arguing with me. Well, it's the thing. Either way. Okay. okay. Just go in and do well, it. Well, there we go. There, at least the captain knows, Sergeant. Okay. You might have to take some lessons up. Go home, maybe just check out the Bill of Rights because you don't thank know it. Thank you for your advice. Yeah, no problem. And thank me for okay. my service, too, because your service is not good. Okay. Well, just Bad boy. understand there's certain areas you can go. Oh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm well aware. You can, you can certainly go into whatever the public is as long as you're not disrupting. Yeah, exactly. The people and that, I don't. The people that are coming in and out need to do business here. Yeah. Okay? Yep. No worries. All right. There you go. Thanks, Captain. Hey, Sergeant. Maybe you'll learn one day. Thank you. No problem. It. It's all right. Maybe you will too, young man. You got to learn that your job is to uphold our rights, not to act however you want. Have a good day. The walk of shame, gentlemen. The walk of shame. Yeah, keep walking. Fortunately, the captain recognized that the auditor was not in the wrong and instructed Sergeant Chesmore to refrain from further interference. The captain deserves commendation for his ability to defuse the situation amicably rather than escalating it into a public spectacle. As for Sergeant Chesmore, he received a valuable lesson on the First Amendment.